What is going on guys? How is it going? We are back with our Carolina Hurricanes GM mode here. Obviously we are a little bit ahead of where we left off last time and this was not my fault. I always seem to have the worst luck with GM modes. I record some important stuff and then either the audio craps out or the video craps out. And uh, basically what happened was my computer had a big meltdown, got the blue screen of death, everything. So I wiped it clean. It's taken me about two days to get everything back uh, to where I wanted it. So everything... I I haven't recorded in a couple of days because I had to take off everything off my computer and uh, redo it all and my mic was screwing up so I do apologize. I'm not going to say it's going to be the last screw up I'm ever going to ha gonna have but uh, it is. Uh, that was a pretty big one and we did lose about two episodes of GM that which was the draft and free agency. So I'm going to go over everything that we did do. Um, the first thing we did was we went ahead and we got William Nylander in our first per for our first round pick. Uh, where He's got pretty good trade potential, and he's got four and a half gold star potential. So 18 years old, uh, right wing sniper. He is going to be a beast in the future. He is a project maybe three or four years away, but still he's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome player there. As you can see, we took him 29th overall. Very, very happy that we got him at that. I feel like 29 is a steal for a uh, four and a half gold star player. And then in the second round, we took, where is he? We took uh, Lauren Cr Lou Cross. So he is is a three and a half star gold potential two-way defenseman 59 overall so he's looking pretty promising as well that is my squeaky chair but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, our draft um I really wanted to show you guys what we did do, but then we made a huge splash. We got Jonathan Drouin. You guys wanted him, so I thought, what the hell? Let's go after Mr. Drouin. Four and a half green star potential. The guy is going to be unreal, and uh, have him alongside Crosby is really just something else. Uh, it's, it's just going to be amazing. And uh, we traded Gabrick, two seconds, and Simone Dupre for um, Jonathan Drouin and Alexander Steen. And then we just traded Alexander Steen for Gabriel Landeskog. So that was an awesome, awesome, awesome trade. Uh, I was Steen a second and uh, JP or JP Pajot or however you want to pronounce his name. I don't even know his his uh, first name, but uh, Pajot uh, a second and uh, Alex Steen for Gabriel Landeskog. I love that. 21 years old at 85 overall. This guy is going to continue to just be just continue just to progress and progress and progress. And uh, what else did we do. Eberly is now at 88 overall, so he did get a little bit m better there. Um, Scott Glenn is a 74 now. Fibula went down, which kind of sucks. I'm going to try to look to move him. Uh, you guys can tell me for who. Uh, I just feel like I've mi uh, we've missed out on so much, but it's really, I really wanted to uh, record that, but uh, just, it wasn't, I don't know what was going on. The my the gods were hating on me that day i didn't really know everything was just kind of going downhill so uh, that's all the moves that we did make um i'll show you the lines really quick here everything that i did i don't think i'm leaving anything out uh anything out but we got lands crosby and everly i love that line landy's a big dude he is uh he's gonna be that big force in front of the net and we got crosby and everly they're just what more can you say about them they're awesome then we got Druan, filpula and wheeler like i said i think i'm gonna move valtteri filpula eventually but uh still i don't know how or when or for who but uh, he is gonna be on the out because he dropped to 84 even though he had a pretty good year last year at uh, 46 points he still dropped which was really really weird so i um, hoping that drew can maybe uh re revive philpula back to like a 85 86 even that'd be really really nice actually he's not going to get any better so uh philpula is kind of done because he's he's done getting better he's stuck at the 84 overall pretty much he can maybe go up one or two but i don't think he's going to go up anything more than that which is which is all right if he's 85 we can use him in that spot for sure but drew now he's at 80 overall look at his shooting category just disgusting defensive awareness is really good offensive awareness is really good uh, everything except his physical category. Um, 
which is fine because he's not meant to be a big physical player. He's meant to score, to score goals, and he's definitely going to score goals alongside Crosby and Everly, which I have them on the first line power play together. But uh, And then we actually I did make a move defensively as well. Uh, since we did trade Simone Dupre, I had to go get a defenseman, and that defenseman was Nita Nikitin. He was the best one available in the free agent market. He's a big dude, 6'4", 223 pounds, so hopefully he can play pretty decent there. We got Cody Cece as well who I'm actually going to move up to get him more ice time. Then Tori Krug's going to get this, the opening roster spot there. He's got pretty good slap shot power. Everything's kind of pretty good on Tori Krug. I'm hoping he gets uh, – everything's kind of like – middle you know he's not great but he's not terrible uh he's definitely not gonna hurt our team which is a good thing he had 48 points last year but um that's how it's looking for defensively i kind of skipped over everything else but we got gerby the playoff hero he had some huge goals in the playoff only three goals but he there were some big goals uh we picked him up at the trade deadline last year we got cogliano and then daniel alfredson i had to re-sign alfie just because i traded traded uh, Druan, or I traded for Druan, and I didn't know I was going to get Landis Cog, so uh, I was pretty happy with that. Um, Alfredson's going to help out that line. Then we got Matt Fraser, another playoff hero. He had four goals in the playoffs last year. Played awesome. He actually went up one overall. Moen and Shamara. So that's what our AHL team is looking at, and obviously in net we got Mike Smith and Mark Vizantine is going to supply the backup role for our club this year. Uh, maybe I didn't trade Pajot. Who did I trade? I don't know. Um, but it's looking like Raddy, uh, Glenny, and Warren. I'm actually going to put Warren there and then put Nylander there, Verdon in there, you there. Uh, Yanni Verdon is now a 70 overall. So he's, wow, we can almost play him on the NHL. He jumped crazy. We could probably take Chimera. Oh, it's like, do we want to bring him up? What's his defense awareness? 83 discipline is a 70. What's it like on Ver? Verdon in 79 disciplines at 80 so you could say Verdon is a better player to have should we try it I think we have to I think we have to guys Johnny Verdon in 70 over we need a tough guy we don't have a tough guy look at his body checking category 99 I'm doing it I'm doing it I'm bringing him up I'm bringing him up right now no questions about that um where is he 70 overall he would be right I miss him where is he what? Where are you? <laughs> what? Where the fuck? He's not here. Am I not allowed to bring him up? Why is he not there? He's a left winger or a right winger. He's not here. What? What do you mean I can't? Why can't I bring him up to my team? Is he not signed? Is he not? I'll go to the contracts real quick. I think he is. Would that be a reason why we can't bring him up? Um. 70 overall. He's not even here. Maybe I'm just being really stupid. Am I missing something here? 70 overall. I sorted by overall. Yeah, he's not even here. I can't even access him. Uh, you guys got to tell me what the hell's up. Why can't I get him? Uh, you guys should let me know on that because that's really weird. Uh, so we'll wait till next episode to bring him up. Um, that's really strange. We're going to give Nylander the first line minutes there because I want him to get as much experience as possible. Uh, everything's looking good there. Percy and Lou Cross was our second round pick. And everything is looking pretty good right now. I'm going to take off this Uvla guy and put... Um, Put Mr. Nylander there, give him some first line minutes, and I think we are golden. So let's get the first month of si simulation done. I gotta go ahead and turn off the injuries, so let me do that really quick. Alright, injuries are now off. Uh, let's get the simulation done after I check out check out our captaincy and whatnot, because we haven't really done that. Um, obviously, I think Crosby's going to be our captain, but still... We will see here. Uh, Crosby, Spiza, and Wheelers. I'm alright with that. You guys can, uh, if you think it should be otherwise, just let me know on that. But we'll leave that in the comments below and we will try to figure something out. But we got, uh, I feel like this, this episode is a really sloppy one. I feel like I'm just not really on my commentary game. And you guys kind of missed a lot, so I feel kind of weird. But um, I promise that I'm going to show you guys everything from here on out. This is a one mistake. That I couldn't, I couldn't really have any control over. Um, what else do I have to tell you guys? Justin Falk is now at 86. I don't know if you saw that before, but he jumped up, so that was very, very, very nice. I uh, wouldn't. Okay, so morning. I 
I figured I wouldn't be much much of a boss if I didn't fill you in on what I expected for the playoffs this year. I expect you to make the conference finals. All right. I don't think that's totally unreachable. Um, I think that it's a very obtainable goal if we don't shit the bed early like we did last year because last year we didn't have a very good start, and that's what killed us during the end. Uh, we struggled to get that playoff spot, and we just snuck into the playoffs, but we can't be doing that every single year. So I'm talking get wins early, get them fast, and uh, then, you know, if it's really, if you really need to you can lose three or four games at the end of the stretch but these points are very 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 important here we're gonna slow sim the first game here that's my facebook that went off i don't know if you heard that or not but let's go first period with uh jonathan drewan on our team now the marion gabrick less jonathan drewan gabrick you're awesome but uh we're building for the future here in raleigh north carolina let's go first period one nothing, Carl Hagelin. Second period, three nothing. Come on, guys. Why do we suck at the start of the year all the time? Matt Fraser of all people, fourth liner. There you go. Good job, Billy Leno. Yeah, when Cody CC gets his first ever NHL goal, but still it was too late. We lose four to two in our first game against the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, let's just go ahead and sim a bunch in the first month, and then I will call it a video there. So after the 31st, we'll still sim the last game, just for shits and giggles, just to see what's going on. But uh, from here on out, it's going to be constant showing you guys everything, and I feel really weird. I feel really bad. I do apologize that we did miss out on that because there was some pretty big, uh, pretty big things there, and I feel like you guys missed out. You definitely did. But uh, we're up against the Columbus Blue Jackets here, and they have a two and one record. We are one and one currently. Make that two and one with a two nothing shutout there. That is awesome. I'm really stoked for Landis Cog though. I've tried him out in other GMs. I don't know if you guys remember. We did a GM mode for um, was it Ottawa? And we got Landis Cog, and he was not very good at all. Uh, but I'm hoping that he can uh, change my thoughts there. Uh, I know he gets really, really good in this game if you play him right, and I feel like we have the players that we can play around him. So I feel like Landis Cog is going to just be a, a NHL superstar pretty quick here. One nothing shutout again, so Mike Smith's playing pretty good. Justin Fox leading our team with three goals. Another win. We're five and one. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Get the points early and uh, don't look, don't look back after after here. We have the team to win it all, and we have a stacked team. Really, it's just every position. I think we're just stacked in. Another two one win there. It's like Mike Smith's playing good. That is exactly what we need out of Mike Smith. He had an amazing playoff. Uh, seven and one. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Uh, we're up against the LA Kings here with slow sim it because it is the last game. But first period. One to nothing, Dustin Brown. Second period, one nothing again. Come on, every time I slow sim, we suck. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop the slow simming. Come on, Landis Cog. I'm calling it, buddy. I'm calling it, Landy, Landy baby, Landis Cog. Super sweet. Oh, Cody Hodgson. We lose two to nothing. We finish the month at seven and two, I believe. I have to double check. I kind of forgot. <laughs> Seven and two, yeah. So not a bad first month at all. Um, obviously, it's just the first month, so you can't really judge too hard. But uh, from what I'm looking at here, I think we're going to be just fine. I'll go over the player stats and whatnot. Although it's the first month, I'm not going to go over the team stats, like power play and shit, because everything is kind of everywhere right now. So uh, I'm going to need my assistant GMs here. You guys are going to need to help me out. Should I continue on? Trades we need to make. Players we need to move. Uh, line change whatnot so let's go over the stats Alfie has no points so we could probably move Alfie um, we have no real point per game players just everyone's kind of just playing good it looks like Crosby's got six points Phil has got six points uh, Justin Falk's got six points as well drew has got five Krug's got four uh, Smith's four so only three points for Landy. Only two points for Eberly, really. So maybe I should move Eberly, or I don't know. You guys got to tell me what to do. I'll give you one last look at the lines here. Yeah, that th third line is not working at all. Uh, they're all minus players. Um, Cogliano, Alfredson, and Gerby. You guys got to tell me who to, who to trade. Probably just trade Alfie because he's 41 years old. He's pretty much dust right now. Uh, rookie skaters, yeah, we all know that. Goaltender-wise... Uh, where is it? Goalies. Um, seven and two. Mike Smith's playing very, very good. I think we just need to uh, make a change on that third line. But other than that, I think we're going to be just fine. You guys can post your lines in the comments. Uh, I'll leave it right here. I, need, I really need your guys' help here. 
post your lines and then i will see you guys in the next episode or maybe we'll make some trades and uh try to get this team on track i mean we're doing good but it's only the first month and i want to uh i really want to ease out any problems we're having right now so we don't have them at the end of the year when we're pushing for a playoff spot so let me know guys i will see you in the next video if you did enjoy it, go ahead and drop a like again i apologize for you guys missing out on that stuff but really nothing i could do i will see you guys in the next one